Hi everyone, and welcome to Likeable Science. Today we are going to be learning about mass, gravity, and weight. We will also be identifying differences, similarities, and relationships between all three. So let's get to it. Mass is the amount of matter in an object. Mass is measured in grams or kilograms. Small objects like marbles would be measured in grams because they're less heavy, and larger objects like bowling balls would be measured in kilograms because they might be heavier. If an object, like the sun, has a lot of mass, then it will have a strong gravitational pull. But if it has a tiny mass, like Pluto, then the gravitational pull will be pretty weak. Now that we're done with mass, let's talk about some gravity. Gravity is a force that pulls objects together. For example, when you jump, you fall right back down because gravity is actually pulling you down towards the Earth. Gravity is when any two objects with mass are attracted to each other. Since the Earth has a bigger mass than you, you're naturally pulled towards the Earth's center. So if you're attracted to anything that has mass, you're also attracted to humans. So couldn't that technically explain how attraction makes humans fall in love? Anyway, speaking of gravity, let's talk about weight. Weight is actually the amount of gravity acting on an object. While gravity is the actual force, weight is the measure of that force. Let's take stepping on a bathroom scale as an example. So if you have more weight, you have more mass and more gravitational force acting on you. If you have less weight, you have less mass and less gravitational force acting on you. This is how mass, gravity, and weight are all related. And now for some fun facts. Mass is actually the same anywhere you go, the Earth, the Moon, or any other planets. Your weight on the Moon is actually 16.5% of your weight on the Earth. But the gravitational force on the Moon is significantly less than the gravitational force on the Earth. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And besides, what's not to like about Likeable Science?